Welcome back. As President Biden grapples with all-time low approval ratings over the weekend, Americans are demanding action at the border as another migrant caravan makes its way to the U.S. Joining us now is Fox Nation host Tommy Lahren. Tommy, it's good to see you this morning, and I want to pull up some video here. And the first thing you'll note is that they, uh, migrants are carrying something that says Biden for all, and, and these are banners, and, and you see him... Uh, it looks like making this banner anyway. I mean, that in itself tells a lot of the story, does it not? Well, it does. You know, President Biden finally got the popularity that he was looking for. Unfortunately, it's from illegal immigrants that are looking to bust in and invade our country. That may be where he is the most popular president in U.S. history at the border, at the border alone for those seeking to come through illegally. But Joe Biden's record low on uh, numbers and an approval rating, that's really not something I think the Democrats are too concerned about. I think that Joe Biden for them has always been a sacrificial lamb to ramrod through their radical socialist agenda. He's always been a puppet for them, so I don't think that they are too concerned. What really is going to be telling is when we come to midterms, it's going to see how his performance affects all the other Democrats, and we hope that they'll either change their tune or we hope that we'll have wonderful America First Republicans to readily replace them. Yeah, that's what I don't get, Tommy. I mean, look at this. 73 percent of Americans are very or somewhat concerned about the border crisis. Even if Biden doesn't care, for strictly political reasons, if you're him, don't you do something to set up your party for some measure of success in the midterms? Because to your point, if this continues like this between now and next November, Democrats are done in the House and the Senate. Like we always talk about, I think the Democrats are more concerned about the long game. I think they're more concerned with getting as many legal immigrants into this country as possible. And we're already seeing their priority being amnesty. They've tried it time and time again with this reconciliation bill, trying to ramrod amnesty in there. I quite frankly don't think that they really care about the American people and their perception of the border crisis and the border invasion. I think that they're far more concerned with setting themselves up with future voters. Mm. And those future voters are not coming from the American people within our country. I believe they're coming outside of our borders and into our country, and the Democrats are prioritizing making sure that they get that amnesty and those voting rights in years to come. Now let's shift gears and talk about Ilhan Omar for a second and take a listen to what she has to say is to blame for the violence and, and the crime spike that we've seen in our cities. This is in Minneapolis on Saturday. The police have chosen to not fulfill their oath of office and to provide the public safety they are owed to the citizens they serve. Is it fair to say that the police have chosen not to fulfill their oath of office? Let's think about this. The Democrats and largely those socialist wannabe Democrats like Ilhan Omar, AOC, and others, they call the police racist and they tell them not to come to certain communities because they are racist and they terrorize communities. And then they chastise, demoralize, and demonize these officers when they're not coming to communities. Not because they don't want to be there, not because they don't want to fulfill their duty, but because they've been demoralized, demonized, and defunded to the point where they're not able to perform at the best of their ability. But I'll tell you guys this, and this is very important. The Democrat Party right now is at a very important crossroads. Are they going to go the way of people like Manchin and Kirsten Cinema, who are true moderates that want to see this country succeed? Or are they going to continue down this path of the Ilhan Omars, the Rashida Tlaibs, the Cori Bush? And I will also say this, as much as I would love America First Republicans to come in and sweep up these seats and take power and control, I would also hope that this would be an opportunity for true moderate Democrats to come in and realize their opening and realize that they can also continue contribute to getting this country back on track. I do believe that those Democrats exist. I hope they're taking note, and I hope they stand up for their country and their communities. They get a lot of pushback when they do anything, i.e., mansion and cinema, followed into bathrooms, on boats, and just the whole thing. It'll be interesting to see if that happens. Tommy Laren, Tommy Tuesday, we appreciate it. Thanks, Tommy. Thank you, guys. Always good to see you.